into this pool right here that thing no more than hit the water I swooped it over in that direction the thing just hit the water and it no more than hit the water and that bass swallowed that up whopper plopper that's pretty nice right there beautiful little bass for in that little pool right there just let that bass go I'm just curious there's anything else hiding around these rocks. We're gonna, it's about six, we're gonna head across and go up here and fish another spot that I've been meaning to get to. First, I'm gonna toss the net up there. Oh, it's had a nice tug. Got him, damn. Nice. <laughs> First cast in this hole with the Ned. Second, another good bass. And he's stuck around them rocks. Around the rocks. Not a bad bass right there, too. Wish I had my net, man. It's a lot of fun netting them when you're out here wading. I did that yesterday, and that was perfect. It's another good one, really. Oh yeah, it's a decent bass right there. Wow, wow. Can't believe I just caught two nice bass out of that same hole. One on the whopper plopper, one on the Ned. This thing just smoked it. And he hit them rocks pretty good. That one's probably half a pound and an inch smaller than the one I just got on top water. Beautiful fish right there. Number two out of this little hole. I'll let this girl go. Hanging out right there. Just disappears, kind of. Curious if I threw the plopper in there one more time, too. Like... Oh, man. Wow. That was another good one. And they are stocked in here heavy. Last time I fished here, I caught one decent one. And that thing hit it again. Did you see that? Wow. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that wake. Something just tried to hit it again. I like in this darker brown color here. Ned today. got one. Oh, I had one. 
We're gonna switch angles here real quick. Skirt over to there. It's getting dark. Gotta hurry up. I'm right on top of that spot now. It's just a little hole. Just hitting them like right there. Try the Ned first. It's getting dark. Summer's ending. Only like six o'clock. Man, that's a good one. There's good bass stocked in here right now. First cast just came right over here on top of the spot. Had my net. Quality little chunk right there. Not bad, really. Had my net. A lot of fun netting them. Look, just popped right out. Look at that. Oh. Now i sandal just flew off. Too much of a hurry. Wow. Bass are just looking good in here this year. Another fatty. Not as big as the one I, the two I just landed or the one I had on, but that's three bass out of here. Had like four or five helped, but that's three. And they've all been pretty decent. No little ones. That's good signs a good healthy summer pool Here you go, girl. nice try again yeah last time i was over here i was snagged and water was a lot higher and i took that cast I caught a real nice bass out here Water's a lot lower now. I don't even know where he'd find nothing in here now. We'll see. I've really been trying to get back here ever since. Things have changed. there in like a foot of water one of them good bass I was talking about wow I was not expecting don't go into that rock do not take my whopper plopper I was not expecting that decent bass right there to smack behind a rock it's about a foot of water right over there no current there's that bass there's the good one yeah that makes the day worth it right there. Look at that. Yes. Yes. And I hope that was recording. Beautiful bass right there. Kind of fat. He was sitting right over there. It's about a foot of water in there. He's probably living under that rock. I took a cast over there. Look at that. That's by far my best bass the past couple days. Man, I am 
catching some nice ones today. Past two days, but nothing beats that one. Camera doesn't quite do it justice, but it's a pretty fat bass. And the thing is, I caught it on top water right there in about a foot of water over there. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's no current coming through there. It's just crystal clear. Foot and a half, two foot of water in there. Cast it right between them rocks and she came out and smoked it. Beautiful bass. Fattest one so far out here. Past couple days. Oh, my God. A couple more little spots there. There you go. There she goes. She's gone. It's nuts. Hell yeah. I'm not sure I've never cast it over here, but I, right up under this tree. A couple casts of the plopper. Yeah, it's not deep under there at all. Good. There's something in there. Up here is where I left off like yesterday. There's some good pools under this dam I was hitting them out of. Not sure how much more fishing I'll do tonight though. It's getting pretty late. Oh, that looks like a good little pool right here. Never fished really. Pretty good actually. You can see this over here. Oh, nice one too. Good bass right there. Yeah. First cast into this little pool. And I get hooked up. Oh, he's under a rock. No. No. Come out of that rock. Yes. And I almost just lost my fucking lure. A good bass right here, man. This is nuts. Yeah, that's a fatty. Wow. That might be the biggest one of the day. Are you kidding me? Thought it was a rock stopping a man. That's a tank. Look at that. Yeah, that's probably the biggest one of the day. Easily the longest. Oh, I lost him. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one by far, man. By far. That one beats my other ones by like an inch. Look at that. It's not as fat as that one I just caught, but it's longer. Right out of this little pool right here. Nice smallie, dude. First cast. It's always that first or second cast of that flopper. Unless you're finessing them with the net. Look at that. And they are just fire tonight. Look at that. Capture. Well, I worked my way up from down there. And came over here and probably caught, I don't know, it's probably the biggest one of the day. It's about a half an inch longer than the other ones. But not as fat as the one I just caught. It's a good bass, so comparison look here. Smoking them on the whopper plopper. I caught that on the bait caster. First cast right out in front of me right here on the whopper plopper. 
chasing smallies. Got that nice fish right there. Look at that. It's a beautiful bass. She goes back out in her smallmouth having knots. First cast on the whopper plopper does it again. It's been an epic night. Let's fish on. Just released that fish. That was a good one. Try cast two into there. Oh, something just hit it. There's a little gem. Little guy. They just love the whopper plopper. Hey right there, on the whopper plopper. Let's see if there's anything bigger in there that's willing to eat. Anything bigger than the other one, hopefully. Yeah, that first big one there just wrecked it. I'll have to come back here work this pool over. I didn't really realize this was here. All the fine bass in it and the whopper plopper solved the deal right away. Oh, another good one. Are you kidding me? This one might be even better. Keep him up out of that rock. Nah, he ain't better. That. Yeah, these pools are just holding the bass. Look at the sh color on this girl. Look at the color on her. Look at that. Beautiful bass right there. So long story short, I just hooked. I, I just walked up here. Was headed up to fish a little bit of these pools by this dam possibly take the dam back across the river but um, I seen this pool right over here which I've never fished before three cast uh, three fish first nice big one third was a small one and then I hooked a nice beautiful fish reeled it in right here man it was a female red eyes real pale perfect colors man I was like oh, that's a good fish to get a picture of and but the lure hooked into my knuckle as I had her hooked. So I was working with one hand and she kept flopping and twisting. And wow, that was agonizing. That was great spirit's way of telling me to pack it up and head home. So I'm going to cut up here, take this road up to the bridge, cut through town, stop at the store. But yeah, this is a real nice pool right here. I didn't even know this was here. But that bass I just caught was a beautiful, wild, red-eyed, kind of tannish, and just black lines running, man. That would have been the picture bass right there. She was beautiful for this environment right there, which hooked my knuckle. She was pissed, threw her back, and got the knuck hook out of my knuckle. That whopper plopper just hooked right into my knuckle. Had to rip it out. It sucked. You can hear it tearing. Knuckles kind of numb, man. That was terrible. I'm out of here. I'll come back here soon. Fish on. Peace.